uh, again, just uh, disappointed that uh, with our uh, inconsistent, we're just inconsistent. Uh, we need to know night to night what we're going to get. This tournament, I think, was great for us. There's no doubt in my mind. I know we're going to get much, much better as a basketball team. We're going to learn from it, both games. But uh, I know we're better than we played today. And uh, and give Kansas credit. I thought you know they executed extremely well. I thought their key guys did exactly what you'd expect them to do night in and night out. We've got to get that with our guys. Let me ask about Zakai. Um, minute count when I saw you in Madison. You know, where is he after this week in terms of his ability to play more and more uh, on the court? I think, Andy, again, uh, he hasn't had any problem in terms of swelling or anything like that after the games, and that's coming in. Um, I think he's fine today. So I think once he get, we get back home this week, he'll be able to go back to the doctors, and they will do what they do in terms of the measurements they need. And But I expect more and more now he's going to get closer to where – in terms of the minutes, I mean, we'd like – I mean, he's not that far off, actually. Uh, last night he played more than he probably maybe should or could have. But um, tonight, I don't know, what is it, around 20 minutes, I think. But we got to get more solidified there at the point. And, uh, but we still need a presence with our post guys. You know, we need those guys to understand we need them. And uh, I don't want to be a team where if we're making threes, it's all going great. We're not. We're not because we've got um, too many different ways. We missed too many layups tonight. You know, way, way at the rim that we've got to make, and it seemed like they made all theirs, and we got to get back where we're, or we got to get where we can finish those uh, some way somehow and get to the free throw line more. How much did Santiago get back into his groove in this game? I thought he was good, and 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 again, you know, he does so many things. Uh, I mean, looking back at it again, and uh, you know, McCullough's a tough matchup, and I, you know, Santi's a guy that I mean, his real. I mean, what he does for us defensively every night, you know, he'll, he'll take on those challenges. And, and uh, the one thing about him, he's all about winning. I don't, I don't think he cares if he scores. I mean, r really and truly, we tell him we need him to shoot the ball a little bit more. But, you know, he, he knows when he's got it and when he doesn't. And if he doesn't have it, he's going to find a way to impact the game some other way. We need some other guys to learn that. But uh, – the fact is, uh, I thought he and Josiah did what we'd expect them to do. Josiah was the one guy coming in today that we were worried about from a fatigue standpoint because he played 30 some minutes two nights in a row. And uh, but um, we're going to be okay. I, I, I mean, I believe it. I think we got a chance to be as good as anybody in the country. But we're going to have to get better, like you would say this time of year. Dalton, you knew he was really good, but now we've seen him play against Wisconsin, play against this competition from Big Sky to you know, top ten type teams. What did you learn about him handling this kind of situation? Well, I don't think I learned anything that I didn't think coming in that would happen. Would be could he make in-game adjustments. As much as we talk about it, try to give him the, you know, the blueprint of how they're going to guard him, what they're trying to do, um, and understanding how much harder he's going to have to work to get his space on the floor. He's going to have to do some things. I mean, he made some nice moves, got to the rim, missed some shots. Some of those shots uh, – I mean, we think when he gets in there, he's going to finish it. I think he's got to get back to getting his balance, and and uh, and I mean, he normally makes some of those. I don't, and I and I and I really, in that, the particular situations, I'm thinking of three right now. I don't think their defense had anything to do with it. I thought he just missed the shot because he was off balance, maybe thinking somebody's coming over to make a play because we did play against some size. But uh, I think his this. I would like to think that this tournament. Shows him how he's going to have to learn how to make those in-game adjustments in terms of how he's being played. One last thing for me. This schedule, I know not every game was under your control. Carolina, obviously, the challenge. But you got that game. you got NC State. you got Illinois. You've already won at Wisconsin, played at Wisconsin. That was a return. This tournament. Uh, when you, by the time you get to the SEC, how, how ready will this group be? For that gauntlet. Well, again, I, I think it's great, Andy. I, I've said all along. I mean, I I like being in big. If you want to win a big game, you got to get in a big game. And coming here was a uh, again. Am I disappointed we didn't win this tournament? I am because I think our team's good enough to win this tournament and win any night to go out, go out on the court. Uh, but I do know that uh, it, it's you know you think about it. We played uh, three teams counting our exhibition game from the Big Ten that all have a lot back, and you know we've got. Some enough back too, and, and so it was. A, all those games were high-level games this time of year. Uh, I look at the Kansas team. Uh, I think they're going to get better and better as the year goes on, as they keep going. Uh, and I think we have the chance to do that too. I, I mean, I really do. But 
I do think that playing this schedule, uh, I think it's great. I, I mean, I think that's what – I've been doing this a long time, and I enjoy these games, you know, because I want to see us play at the highest level. I want to see us execute at the highest level. I want to see our guys – Learn from this. You know, we talked about it last night. We didn't have a lot of time. And, and this this game's different because we don't get to do a normal prep, but they're in the same situation. But uh, I just, again, we got to get consistent with key guys. I mean, if you look at the teams that are constantly right there and answered that question, it will be just that. Can we go in every game heading into getting ready for conference play that we know night in and night out what we're going to get from each in, each individual guy? Coach, you were talking on Sunday about how everyone's going to leave here better just by virtue of this field. I, you might have already answered this, but I mean, the one and two team that I saw out there looked pretty good. You you probably feel the same way. And then, if you want to add to that, uh, just I was I was asking uh, the Kansas guys. This almost seems like it's a tougher challenge than uh, than a tournament uh, in, in March. If you're talking about a Final Four, or Sweet Sixteen, because you get the off day in between. They're still the same high level of talent. Is this tougher? Well, it is because nobody wants to play in a consolation game. You know, nobody does. You know, and as much as you talk to our team, and they and Bill did. I mean, they did a better job, obviously, than I did because they were more consistent in our guys coming out. But it, it is tough because you know we all come here, and I, I mean, I know we did. I know I believe every team does. Obviously, that they want to win this thing, and when you get beat, it, it, it's disappointing. But then you turn around and uh, you got to give it to Kansas. They played later than us last night, came in today, had a lot of guys play a lot of minutes. Uh, I think they had four guys over 30 minutes again today, I think. But, uh, you know, again, this time of year, uh, you don't want to be your best. You want to be really good and you want to win every time you go out. But what will be the key is that if we can look at each other, look at our team, each guy can look at themselves individually and say, okay, what do I have to do to – settle into the role this team needs from us, and that's what it will be. And then over this next month, really, before you head into conference play, it, it is about consistency. Can we know what we're going to get night in and night out? And making shots, I mean, we, we can we can shoot the ball. We didn't have a great tournament here where I thought, uh, you know, we shot the ball the way we're capable of, that, but that's part of it. I mean, everybody goes through, through that, but we had some high-quality looks. But I told our team, I don't want us to be a feast or famine team from the three-point line. We've got to have enough uh, in us to know that uh, we've got to get the ball inside. We've got to get fouled more. We didn't we didn't get fouled enough while we were here, and uh, we got to keep developing our post players because I do think we got some guys that can score there. And to get ready for conference play, we're going to need that because as the year goes on, people are going to push out, try to take away the three point line, and and which is fine because I, the course opened up. We've got to get downhill like we did today a couple of times, but we didn't we didn't finish it. We've, we've got to be a fin better finishing team inside the three-point line. All right. Thank you, guys.